I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. Hi there. Welcome to another installment of Tales from the Vaults. On this one, we go back to 2013. Now, some people know my famous quote of, I've never eaten a rodent I didn't like. And then they, they go to ask, well, you know, what rodents have you eaten? And then I go off the whole list, the capybara and beaver and um, mouse wine. But one of the things that I neglected was muskrat. And so back in 2013, I got some muskrat from my friend Anshu at Exotic Meat Market and decided to cook this thing up and uh, give it a try. So here is the footage from 2013, the last footage that we managed to find in the vaults of me cooking and eating muskrat. So enjoy. Hi, I'm Valentino Herrera. Today I'm gonna make something a little bit unusual, maybe even for me. I'm gonna make this muskrat that I got from exoticmeatmarket.net. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much whole. Um, the legs, I think, are tucked in. Doesn't look like it has a head. Definitely doesn't have a tail. Uh, I think we have a spine here. And I'm a little bit nervous about opening this up because it is a muskrat and it has musk glands. So it has a certain, let's call it aroma, that um, I'm a little bit nervous about. But I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna cut it up in little pieces and we're gonna braise this today. Uh, I'm gonna do it with um, an Asian influence, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, coconut oil. I'm gonna use some uh, curry. I'm gonna use some uh, basil. So we'll see where we go from there. I wanted to have some ginger, but uh, unfortunately I don't. So we're gonna put this together. We're going to uh, braise this for about half an hour and uh, maybe we'll serve it with something interesting. So we'll see. So obviously the first thing we wanna do is uh, we wanna get this out of its, uh, its little plastic prison. And I think before we open it all the way, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a smell here and see what we're up against. Nice red meat. Wow. Oddly enough, it doesn't really have that bad a smell, so I think maybe we're in for a special treat here. Before I actually go ahead and cook the uh, cook the meat, I'm going to take a couple of small pieces, tiny little pieces here, and uh, I'm just going to like pan fry that with nothing, no uh, no salt, no pepper, no um, nothing else, because I want to just get the taste of what that tastes like by itself. So we're going to we're going to fry those up. You see a little bit of uh, looks like maybe some tendon there. So that, I'm thinking that part's going to be a little bit chewy, but this uh, this dark, dark, dark red meat looks really good. Okay, we're going to try a little bit of this meat here. I'm going to try the, uh, the lighter piece first. It's a little blood come out. Oh wow, <laughs> this is really good. It's so tender. I, was, I would think this was going to be stringy and tough. It's really tender. It's delicious. Really nothing to compare it to. I mean, I can't really find anything to compare that to. A unique taste. It's a dark, almost dirty taste. I like this. Now, as with anything else I do, I'm gonna go a little bit unusual. So I'm gonna use some coconut oil. Um, I don't know why. I think uh, it has a really nice smell. And um, I'm just gonna try something different. So we'll see if that, uh, it looks like, just looks like coconut. But we'll see if that adds some, a uh, little bit of flavor. A little bit of coconut flavor. Look at that, I learned something new today. Okay, so I have my oil hot. 
And I'm just going to sear these pieces. All right, I gotta be brutally honest with you. This this smells amazing. I don't know why they call it a muskrat. This smells absolutely wonderful. I'm liking this. Okay, now I wanna do something stupid. I'm gonna put some sake in here. Wow, that has an unusual smell. And uh, some... Uh, basil. Um, just a little bit of curry powder. I think that's a little bit. And I'm going to finish it with just enough water to cover that. Okay, so my dish is finished. I have my muskrat, I have my uh, fried eggplant, and um, just for a joke, just because I'm a funny guy, um, I did Limburger cheese on crostini, thinking that the Limburger cheese would smell like the muskrat, and as it turns out, the muskrat doesn't smell. So I also have my uh, fine Colombian rum uh, to chase this down, so we're gonna go ahead and, and take a piece of this and see what happens. So let's try this. Wow. I was afraid it was going to take on uh, a lot of the flavors of what I cooked it with, and it really didn't. We can still, there is a little bit of a strong taste in there, but it's sweet. It's, uh, it's not chewy, it's not stringy. It's a really rich, sweet meat. I love this. I'm going to have some more. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.